guys, it's me, Meteor, and here we are back to Kirby Return to Dreamland. And this time we're talking on the final ability challenge. And it's not really an ability challenge, it's actually an item challenge. Ooh, exciting. Difficulty 8, yes. If you notice, it's actually longer than the stage than normal before. So you have 3 minutes and 30 seconds to actually beat it. But in order to get a platinum, we don't have to beat it within 30 seconds of the time. We have to beat it within 45 seconds of the time. So you have 15 more seconds you have to clear by because of the longer time. So the way first thing you have a key, just jump up there and then have a little Kribo shoot type thing. So we're there, just head over to the left and just keep jumping. Yay, platforming. Slow clean up the late platforming. Yay. Gotta love that uh, classic Kirby music going in the background. Gotta love that little retro thing. Now at the very last second, just jump on here, try to get all those coins in one go. I did, and I kind of landed this shoe again by accident. Now we have the cannon section. This cannon section, you want to be careful, it's going to be very quick as well. You want to hit the cannon, you want to hit the switch at the quick as you can, because it's actually not going to move until you hit the switches. So hit it, and then grab whatever you miss in case you miss anything. So that's what I need to do there. Now there's the same principle, except now that we actually have a cannon like a bomb on each side of the end. And each of those blocks turn into little monkeys, so make sure you kill those. Jump over here, just in the good time to actually make those things go away. Head to the secret door. Now this time you'll see two of these little gate key guys. Pretty much want to actually get this one. Get the switch there. Make sure they don't run into lava. Well, until they actually get the key for you. Then you can kill them, because killing them is points. 50 points, actually. But if you kill all the enemies, you get an extra thousand bonus, like normal. So definitely want to do that. Next section we have little trumpet rainbow thing. The rainbow power magic trumpet of justice. Whatever thing. Physically, more platforming. Jump, run, don't stop running! Stopping to run is a failure to communicate and probably won't be any points. You don't have to actually do any platforming or any jumping, just run. Because pretty this probably is actually quite easy. Jump those to actually go away. Just run, no need to jump at all. And then just go inside this secret door by super inhaling. I haven't had to use the motion control for quite some time, so I kind of forgot that was there. Now the way we have a little, we have a little switcher thing here. I just use the little crystal, grab that, inhale the key, get that. Grab the crystal, go down, go in here, let go of the crystal, then float your way back up. You gotta do that quickly. You have to do all of this very quickly. You have to pretty much do this flawlessly. And then some. It's actually pretty crazy, actually. Now we have another previous two section here. This one's a little bit a lot harder than we had before. This one here, we're gonna be fighting this little spike ball thing. So just get over to here to see the coins, stay on that side, because there's actually four coins that on each side. And now we have lava everywhere. Pretty much there's a section here we're going to have to jump up to get that gold coin, but be careful, because if you jump too high or into the side, you get lava. Just crush this last block before it's too late. You have very little time to do that, and now you have this little bomb thing. Oh man, I remember this thing. Quick, to the top, but not too quick, because someone actually jump on a platform and have not jump on a platform at all. When you throw it, stay back, because you can't get damaged, and that will get on your side to take no damage at all. Free falling, and then finally free fall one last time, and then voila! There we go, 48 seconds to spare. Ugh, man, that was annoying. But let's see if I got it. All right, wait for it. Man, look at those points. So many points. You need 49,000 at least to get a platinum. You need to, like you said, you need to beat everything perfect within 45 seconds to get everything. There's the score breakdown there, all the bonuses and whatnot, so you can go in and see it there. Either way, we're done. Sweet. So now we got all the platinums for all levels. Let's take a look at them. Let's take a look at all these wonderful looking Platinums. Yay! I finished the game officially. Now, all that's left now are the mini games that haven't shown off yet. And wait, I never even unlocked these things down here? I never once stepped down here at all. I'm just unlocking them now. Oh, well then, all right. Well, next time in Kirby's Return to Dreamland, I guess we'll be doing the mini games and uh, finishing those up. And that'll be it, so uh, See you guys then, I guess. Yay! We finished Platinums. Hooray! Yawn.